Hey, Coach, thank you so much for joining. I'm Evan. Nice to meet you. What's going on? Not much. Um, I'm going to try to keep this, you know, relatively short, like 10 minutes. Just got a couple questions to ask. Cool. Um, so first, I want to kind of start with, uh, we saw on social media yesterday that they're putting down a new surface on the pitch. Uh, can you explain a little bit about what kind of surface they're putting on and, and why you chose that surface? Yeah, I mean, it's it's the traditional Bermuda. Um, you know, I'll oversee it in the, the winter, and um, it's pretty much every soccer pitch in the South has it. Um, it just nothing had been done to the field in about 20 plus years. Right. So it just needed kind of an overhaul. The, um, the drainage needed to be drastically. And then there was such a dramatic, uh, pitch on it, um, that they leveled it out a little bit. So yeah, we're excited and, uh, super, super pumped to play on it. What benefits do you think that can give your team for this upcoming season? Yeah. I mean, it's just the continued progress of the program, right? Like we're growing, the program's growing, the facilities are growing, you know, they're, they're built, they're working on a new you know, huge field house and, um, you know, doing some fan amenities in there. Uh, so we're, yeah, just continue progress in the the growth of the program. Let's talk about that progress. You guys have made the elite eight in at least the last two years. I'm, I'm a little new, so I'm still trying to learn all the teams. Um, what excites you about this upcoming season? Yeah. I mean, it's a new opportunity, right? We like the group of people we have. It's a good mix of like experienced players who have done a lot. There's some exciting new ones and you mix all that together. You know, ultimately we have to do that on the field. We're not big on, preseason projections and rankings. I mean, we know that whatever we get at the end of the year, we will have earned good, bad, or indifferent. Um, you know, we kind of use the analogy of like every year is a new chapter in the book. They're not all going to look the same and whatever that chapter is at the end of the season, we will have written it ourselves. And so we will be wholly responsible for that. Before I get into some of the uh, USL questions that I have for you, uh, let's talk about some of the returners, some of the newcomers who uh, from the returners, are you really looking at to taking a step up, whether that's on the field or leadership wise? Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's a pretty similar team to last year. You know, you lost a couple pretty big impact players, um, but you get some back. I mean, we had a bunch of injuries last year. We get those kids back. We we don't typically talk too much about individuals. Those kids will have to earn that on the field this year. Um, but for the most part, I mean, you've got a lot of experienced players. I mean, we'll return, I think, 13 players who have started multiple games. Um, and then you got a good group. You know, we had 10 incoming freshmen come a semester early. So they got a little bit of a, a head start to try to, to earn some minutes. Um, you know, the, the big one will be goal, right? Probably Sierra is the one that's, um, that, that played in the spring for us. And she'll be looking for, uh, she'll probably be the one that'll, that'll start at least the spring, the fall season as the starter. Any freshman, I know you don't like to talk about individuals, any freshman in particular that you really have an eye on that could make a big impact this season. Yeah. I mean, there's, there was probably seven or eight of them that played pretty big roles in the, the spring, you know, I mean, um, playing in the fall is different and we'll have some players back. Um, but the, yeah, they, it's a, it's a really good class. It's a really, really athletic class. Um, you know, we'll, I'll probably have a better sense, you know, we can't train them until August 1st. So we'll probably have a better sense of how they look now, um, after the first week of August and we've played a couple preseason matches, but yeah, I, I'll be surprised if there's not a handful of those kids that are, that are playing roles in the, in the fall. How would you assess that, uh, spring season? How do you think they did and, and what kind of, yeah, what, what pushes you to, for, uh, that you're looking forward to in the fall? Yeah. I mean, it's a, it was a very experienced group, right? We had a couple of kids coming back from injury that, that they used, they were able to use that to kind of get back into the groove. Um, and then we had the 10 freshmen, right? So it was a really good mix. We played five teams Four of those were power five teams. We won all the games. Um, we didn't give up a goal until the end, which was an important match for us. You know, we hadn't really given up any attacking chances. Illinois scored a couple early goals and, you know, Sammy Johns and I kind of looked at each other. We just said, we're not going to make adjustments. We're not going to say anything. We think the team is prepared for this moment and rattled off three goals and could have scored quite a few more. So, you know, we, we hope that that is translated over. Obviously we can't see them until August one. So I couldn't tell you kind of where they're at and where we are. I'd have a better sense of that after a week of training. Um, my gut is knowing the players that they're going to be motivated. You know, we, we've made it to two elite eights, which is great. Right. But that's, that's not the goal. Um, the goal is to win it all. Right. And so, I think we have to come in hungry. And if we do, if we're hungry, fit, and ready to go, uh, the team could be pretty exciting. If apathy or, you know, um, entitlement sets in, you know, it's going to be like every team that those things set in. It doesn't go as well as you want. So um, it's going to be up to us. We have all the pieces, I'll tell you that, um, to, to have a successful year. Schedule-wise, what games are you uh, looking forward to coming up in the fall? All of them, really. I mean, everybody poses a different, you know, we play Kansas State and SIUE in the preseason. Those will be incredibly important. Traditionally, we'll play 
most of the roster in the first game. And then the second one will probably be a little bit closer to a real match. You know, then we start off with Arkansas state, uh, you know, an in-state team that is out to show the world that they're not the, that they're equal to us. And so that'll be a, you know, highly contested match. You play Milwaukee, who's, you know, going to win 15 games. You play Grand Canyon who's going to win 15 games. You play Oregon at home, a PAC 12 team. And then you have Clemson, Notre Dame and UNC on the road. So I mean, we should know who we are after the the non-conference season. We'll have a sense of what we're good at, what we're not, and it should help uh, prepare us for the conference. Awesome. All right, I'll move into the USL questions. Uh, obviously, I'm sure you know that USL Arkansas was just announced yesterday. To you, what does that mean that USL is bringing professional soccer to Northwest Arkansas? Yeah, I mean, it, it's awesome, right? I mean, as a soccer person in the area, I think it's an indication of how much the sport has grown. And I think some of that is as people are moving in from outside of maybe Arkansas, they're bringing some of those interests. You know, we'd like to think that we've played a role in that and help elevating the game in the area and creating interest and helping people understand it's a cool environment. It's a different environment. um, It's a fun game to watch, Um, you know, and for the most part, you know, I mean, they're talking about a men's and women's team. Um, You know, I've spoken with Chris, you know, pretty regularly over the four years of his um, trying to get this thing going. Super excited for him. He's a very passionate soccer guy. And I think anything that helps develop the area and promote the sport is awesome. So um, obviously, you know, the men's team is probably going to be here first. What does that mean for your women's team? The fact that they're able to now go out and watch a pro soccer team, you know, only 10 minutes down the road. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be fascinating, right? Like it's, it's something that we haven't had here because we don't have a men's program at the university. Um, So it'll be good. Right. And good for me. I'm sure I'll get to know those coaches and develop relationships with them and share ideas. And hopefully it helps grow all of it. The youth soccer, um, hopefully it'll help continue growing the the work that the youth coaches are doing in the area, um, continuing to produce more and more college level, pro level players, um, generate interest in the area, bring people. I mean, I think it's a win, win, win. And what I, I'm sure I know you really can't talk to the players yet, but um, what are the uh, opinions of the other coaches that USL is coming here? The other coaches at the university? Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't chatted with them yet, but I think you got pro sports, right? And the naturals is a, is probably the only pro team that I know of in Arkansas. Am I right on that? Uh, Yeah. Them are, I think there's the travelers that are down in little rock again. I'm, I'm pretty new here, so I'm still trying to learn. Yeah. Well. So I, I think, you know, you're, you got a different sport, right? So right now I think all there is, is, is baseball. And I think it's interesting that the second pro sport they're bringing into Arkansas is soccer. You know, when I got here 12 years ago, I mean, when you talk with people that are my age that are from Arkansas, they'll all kind of have the same story. Like high school soccer wasn't really a thing when they were in high school. And as the sports continue to grow, youth players are continue to grow, more people are coming into the area that have kids to play soccer. I think it's great. And I think it's going to be awesome to have pro sports here. You know, I think it'll help introduce more people to the game and generate interest for us and them and um, the youth players. And I think, Again, win, win, win for sure. What do you want your players, you know, eventually to take away from the fact that pro soccer is here and and people are really getting an eye on soccer in the area, really because of the success of your team? Well, I mean, when I chatted with them, they said their goal was to be the best women's team in the world, right? Which is pretty ambitious. Um, And I think what we would say to our players is it's like, it's opportunities for you. You know, I mean, there'll be limitations on what they're allowed to do with those, but certainly opportunities afterwards. We have numerous pros And if they do get it to that level where it's on par with the best in the world, you know, having something close like that, that would be opportunities for them after college would be amazing. And the last question I'll ask you, uh, and then I'll let you go is, um, you know, Hunter Yerichek has has said that, you know, a lot of people come to come to your game specifically for this team. Do you have you heard anything about a potential stadium expansion or getting more fans in uh, the area? Yeah, yeah, we're it's in the process right now. I don't know how much I'm allowed to say, but I mean, we have renderings and you know, internal renderings. I mean, we're pretty far along. I think it's past some board votes. I don't exactly know where it's at, but it is scheduled for the next couple of years. You know, they're doing the grass this year. We need to do some concession bathroom stuff and then um, stadium expansion is for sure on the docket. I think us and softball, he said that publicly, us and softball are kind of the the next two. And I'm guessing 24, 25 is kind of the timeline for that. Well, awesome coach. I cannot thank you enough for taking some time and, and sitting down with me this morning. Yeah. Thank you so much, Evan. Of course. Looking forward